this talk is directed at the adults in the room. The voices of the ignored are the voices of humanity's youth. Kids and teenagers from all across the globe have virtually no say in the world we're about to inherit. We're forced to stand by, stagnantly observing as the Earth's resources are stripped away, racism thrives in political sectionalism, and the lives of our own peers are taken in senseless acts of violence. We have the right and the duty to change the world. Thing is, most of us don't have the ability, or at least we didn't until now. Mediums like Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, and platforms like them have made activism viral. Anybody with a cell phone can share their opinion to millions of people at the touch of a button. Despite the massive influence social media gives any one person, I realize you can't just throw together a tweet and kick out the movement. With that in mind, let's break down the movement that I became a part of, and the steps that I took to help continue the conversation. You'll find that these steps can be used as a sort of template for any activism-based project. When I came to this conclusion, I put together a toolkit for anybody to follow in my footsteps, changing the world as they see fit. One can't enact meaningful change if they can't, if they can't find a topic they can relate to and identify with. So let's identify my topic. After growing up in an unspoken culture of mass shootings, the Stone and Douglas shooting sparked outrage at myself and millions of youth across America. The streets were filled with activists, younger and louder than ever. In 2018, activism isn't just another trend you are picking up on. We're growing and changing at rates faster than ever for a world that gets harsher and more dangerous with every passing day. With my newfound commitment to working towards gun legislation, I set out to take action. Now that you've identified your topic, it's time to do the dirty work. You need to gain an in-depth understanding of your topic and any opposition you might face, and plan accordingly. What exactly do you plan to do? What are some deliverables leading up to that point? Identification of deadlines and meeting them consistently is key to making sure your narrative gets heard. So now it's time for the fun stuff, the action. Everything you've worked towards, all the, deliver all the deliverables you've planned for. Assuming everything's gone well thus far, you should have planned for a best and worst case scenario. All that's left is to go for the best case. Once you've made your point, it's time to make sure your point will linger. Continuing on with my example, a rally is scheduled to follow the walkouts in an effort to help continue the nationwide conversation on gun control. It is important to stay consistent with pushing your message in order for more than five people to hear what you have to say. The strongest movements aren't made up of one person or any one group of people. Rather, small groups of people coming together, growing in size and influence over time. Sustainability and longevity are equally key. There is no point in putting together a plan if it relies on one person or a small group of people. The civil rights movement didn't die with Martin Luther King. The strongest movements, like I said, are made up of small groups of people growing in size and influence with time. Anyone can change the world, and everyone should try, in his or her own way. Protest by protest, issue by issue, we keep humanity moving forward. There, there is no such thing as perfection, and there will always be a need for protests. Martin Luther King, Malala Yousafzai, Rosa Parks, Emma Gonzalez, Alexander Torres, Rachel Hall, Melissa McNeely, and Jamie Lord. What unites these names is a sense of duty and passion to change the world. Rest assured, I am adding my name to that list, and I challenge you all to do the same. Changing the world falls not on the few, but on the many. Join me in being among them.